Norton Simon, founder of the museum that bears his name in Pasadena, California, began collecting art in 1954 and quickly established one of the nation's greatest art collections. Ranging from early Italian gold ground painting to post-war art, the Norton Simon's deepest holdings are in 19th century French painting. The museum's intimate scale and beautiful garden echo the Frick, and Simon himself cited the Frick collection as a model for both the quality of works he purchased and an ideal contemplative atmosphere. Simon bought his first painting by Manet in 1957, a portrait of the artist's wife. Just two years later, Simon added an early still life by Manet to his collection. This work hung prominently just below Manet's infamous, celebrated Luncheon on the Grass in the retrospective of Manet's work held in 1884, a year after the artist's death. By the time Simon acquired the rag picker, he had clearly set his sights on leaving a public legacy. This painting is the most monumental and historically important of the three. It is the last in a series of beggar philosophers that Manet began with The Absinthe Drinker, one of his first mature works, and then retroactively sold under the group title Four Philosophers to the art dealers Durand Ruel in 1872. In anticipation for the presentation of these paintings at the Frick, all three Manets from the Norton Simon were cleaned by conservators at the J. Paul Getty Museum. The most dramatic transformation was to Madame Manet. After careful removal of an old, yellowed varnish, the painting has regained its original luminosity and range of grays, blacks, and whites that recall the portraits of Franz Halls found in the Frick's nearby West Gallery. Following treatment at the Getty, Manet's still life attained a greater sense of depth, and this painting's already spectacular condition, which was never relined or abraded, shows the spectacular dynamism of Manet's brush with peaks and valleys of paint frozen in time. For the rag picker, technical analysis resulting from conservation joined archival evidence to suggest Manet may have revisited this painting, reworking portions years after he had sold it in 1872. At the Frick Collection, these three paintings are on view in the Oval Room, nestled between the old masters who were so beloved by both Manet and Norton Simon. We invite you to look closely at these paintings while they are here in New York and consider them as a platform for comparisons across the collection. Their exhibition continues through January 5th, 2020. <laughs>